And he actually said the boys are feeling a bit jaded because of the heavy workload. They've played a, a lot of catch-up games due to the rain in Sydney. Um, I think eight games in, oh, this will be their eighth game in a month, which um, is a fair workload when you're playing midweek, and you've got to remember that the players are not full-time. And South Melbourne, on the other hand, are playing great. They had a good win against Olympic two weeks ago, a good win against Blacktown last week. They're scoring goals and playing with confidence, and they're very hard to beat at Middle Park. It's about to say the same thing. There's nothing they like more than playing at Middle Park, where your commentator is Peter G. As has been foreshadowed in the press all week, South Melbourne Hellas have recalled Mike Peterson for this top-of-the-table clash. The soccer midfielder has missed five games following an operation to a tendon in his right hand. Kimon Taliadoris is also back, having escaped with a suspended sentence from the NSL Tribunal on Thursday after his second sending off of the season. Despite scoring the opener last week, Joe Palazzides goes on to the bench with Paul Fernandez. Marconi Fairfield named the same side, which lost 1-0 to Parramatta Melita last week. Ian Gray is expected to be available in three weeks' time after a minor operation to his ankle. He scored the last goal in a match between these two teams. That was back in round five last year when Marconi won 1-0 here at Middle Park, where again a big crowd has built up for what should be once more a very tight match. And the referee for Melbourne's match of the season so far is Australia's representative at the World Cup coming up in Italy, Richard Lorenz from New South Wales. And South Melbourne, Hellas kick off in a game where there is a great deal of expectancy humming around this middle park ground. Bobby Kaplan gets an early touch for the visitors and they're playing in their green strip this afternoon. Ellis, of course, in the blue, pushing forward Paul Ocon. Good run early on, Wade dispossesses him. A late whistle and he's been penalised. So a free kick for Marconi. Paul O'Conn been in such good form and Bruce McLaren will uh, have some early pressure on him. Colucci over the ball with O'Conn. So Colucci number 10. Two-man wall. Just forward of that secondary wall. And McCulloch will go again. Looking for Gomez. Oh, Wade gets in the way there and Jajong stubbed his shot really. Wouldn't have expected the uh, two South Melbourne players, Healy and Way, to uh, get in one another's way there and just snap at the shot a little bit. So eventually the free kick was taken and perhaps that uh, caused some confusion amongst the South Melbourne players. It was Steve Blair and Wade there that got in one another's road. Di Marini throws off Peterson, tries to do the same with Taliadoris. Now Ocon in space. Floated in for Fred De Jong. Blair to Gomez. Skidding off the side of his left foot. And Jerry Gomez in the Marconi rooms before the match players joking with him that he scored four goals in four matches, two of them own goals though. They last week, of course, the goal credited for Jimenez. So I think Gomez was taking it all in pretty good spirits. In fact, I think he's quite proud of that record. Healy. Taliadoris, his hand, plays it down for Peterson, then Taliadoris takes over again. Good strong run, Wade back to him. Taliadoris and again Van Ekman shutting him down. But it's a corner. Come on, Taliadoris taking it from the halfway line up into the penalty area. He's an exciting player, whichever way you look at it, Kim on Taliadoris. In the last few weeks, it's either been goals or red cards. The second corner for South Melbourne Hellas. Salakis looking for the back header. And it's in! An own goal from Colmeran. Now it's Van Egmont. Gary Van Egmont. Wade's back header. And Van Egmont has just helped it into the back of the net. Well, a well-worked corner kick. Wade was always the target for Peter Salakis, but I don't think they were looking for the own goal. And there's Van Egmont jumping and putting it wide of Catlin in off the post. So we were just talking about own goals, and that breaks the deadlock after seven minutes. Wade, a little flick, and Van Egmont guiding it wide. Yes. Taliadoris. Sometimes his first touch does just let him down. 
He's always uh, very strong on the ball and usually wins it back. Nice touch from Wade to Wright. He's been very busy early. Trimboli back to Danny Wright. In the way was Whitley and a timely interception. Well, Danny Wright's very busy out on the right side of the park, causing Marconi some problems. Well, the fans like what they're seeing in the opening 10 minutes of play. De Jong. Salakis in there. Now Peterson in a bit of room. Healy now. Peterson gentling things. Trimboli in space. Nice touch from Wade. Cut out by Ocon. Now McCulloch. De Jong now. It's two on two for Marconi. Blair facing De Jong. And it's Wade in the end. It sets Salakis away. To slow up the momentum a little bit. One for Quintella Udoris. Up the head of De Marini. Danny Wright again, tries the shot. Well, a little bit of slack marking there, and I think Catlin telling his defenders to be well aware of Danny Wright. He's got a bit of a slip for goals, I think, right at the moment, and he was given far too much latitude here. <laughs> Taliadouris, good header down the right. And he's full of confidence, Danny Wright. Trimboli was motioning, he wanted it to his feet. But Wright tried the booming left footer. Well, Danny Wright hasn't got a goal this season, playing his 180th NSL match this afternoon and taking his opportunities when they're there. Wade, a good jump, wants to go again and wins it again too, Trimboli. Lovely ball, Peterson. Teleodorus, well blocked there by Wheatley. He's having to do a power of work. Robbie Wheatley at the moment. Teleodorus, didn't try out Kaplan as he would have liked. Wasn't for one of trying. They've really got the uh, smell of blood in their nostrils, South Melbourne Hellas, at the moment. And I think they know that if they can follow up that early goal, there are a big chance here to beat the defending champion, Salakis. Good punch from Catman. Salakis again. Wade on the far post, great jump! Oh, brilliant effort from Paul Wade. He has been superb in the air since uh, making his comeback. He rose high above about four players and that wasn't too far wide of Bobby Catlin's far post. Peter Salakis who played the corner in, came back again to cross the far post. He didn't bound that far wide. Colucci. Wheatley and Wade, the ladder down. And Wheatley takes the opportunity to skip into the South Melbourne half. It found Gomez. Jurakovic blocks him. Free kick just outside the area for Marconi. And a chance to put the pressure back on South Melbourne Hellas. McLaren hasn't been called on yet to make a save. McCulloch with the free kick. On the turn, Van Egmont. Ball laid back for Calderon. And you couldn't have seen that till the last minute. Bruce McLaren, well struck by the skipper. Van Egmont tried the volley on the turn. Laid back well there by David Lowe. First time strike. Ooh, pretty close. Now Di Marini to pump it back in. Colucci. 
McCulloch, and the header from Wade, an uncompromising one, and Peterson for Trimboli, charging for Taliadoris, the ball for him. Well, he couldn't quite judge it as it swirled across into his path, Tim Taliadoris. Superb move initiated by a punishing header from Wade. They've got the confidence to try anything at the moment, Ellis. Taliadoris like another chance at it, I think. Calder and goes forward to De Jong. Veronica this time wins the free kick. And here was that last blitzkrieg move from South Melbourne, Hellas. Paul Trimboli sees the charging Taliadoris. Superb run. And if he just continued perhaps at the initial pace he was moving at, he could have hit it on the volley, but he backed off a little bit. Here's Taliadoris again. Again, early runs being made, and the players upfield aware of it. Wade after the dummy, brings out a good save from Kaplan. But the understanding of this Hellas side is superb. The dummy from Trimboli, Wade aware of it, and it left him with plenty of time to size up Kaplan's goal. There was Wade with the touch, and he's starting some lovely moves from midfield. Right for Trimboli, arches over the top of it. Look at the room and the time that he's got, Wade. Good save. Now Taliadoris can make it two. You bet. <laughs> Jubilation on the middle park terraces. They're 2-0 up South Melbourne Hellas. A half an hour into their clash with the reigning champions. Timon Taliadoris was going to make no mistake this time. As I said, latter weeks it's either been red cards or goals for Taliadoris. That's his eighth of the season. South Melbourne, Hellas 2. Marconi, nil. And that is exactly what the Blue Faithful were looking for. A follow-up goal to that shot early own goal conceded by Marconi and they've got it and they're going to take a lot of stopping from here on in but can they keep up this pressure they're exerting on the green machine Van Egmont cuts it across low has to backtrack Bellucci Gomez gets in there with the header from right what a game he's playing also here's Jim Bowling Peterson charging through the middle. Trimboli just holds things up a little bit. Costa Coglu for Healy. Well, that's how much confidence they've got. Trying balls from one side of the park to the other. In the very difficult conditions, the bruise is very gusty. Well, it's really the first time this season South Melbourne Hellas have been able to name the side that Ferenc Puskas would have been uh, looking to play for the majority of the season to go into the finals with. He's got it, and they've not let him down. Now De Jong. Gomez. Straight up the car. A snaking run from Jerry Gomez. Found by the Kiwi Fred De Jong. But uh, I think Gomez would like another crack at this one. The fair in position beautifully. Look at this one touch stuff from the men in blue. Here's Teleodorus again from Wade. Who's there? Salakis misses it. And Kaplan doesn't like the comeback from Peter Salakis. And I don't think Richard Lorenz does either. And Talia Doris should get out of there because he has
has not got the most enviable record this season. I don't think he had it as 10 cents worth. The yellow card will be for Peter Salakis. They had a bit of frustration, I think, from the little dynamo because he missed an opportunity that I think he perhaps Barry, if he got a second chance at it. He had some pressure put on him by Van Egmont, but he clean missed it. And that was pretty dangerous. Colour. And Egmont for Marconi. De Jong. Got three players around him. They're all wearing blue shirts though. Just a little shell shock for Mar uh, Marconi at the moment. The way South Melbourne have come out with all guns blazing. Not giving them any room to move him whatsoever. So weekly. Came off the foot of Lowe. Wright's kept it in play, but only for Marconi's benefit. To Marini. Sliding in was Healy. Trimbali, beautiful start. Tony Adoris. Vicky Peterson is unmarked on the left. Oh, well, it was great control with the finish. Not quite as Peterson would have liked. But I think they can't believe space they're getting at the moment South Melbourne Hellas. These uh, runs are being made unchallenged. Plenty of smiles gesticulating on the terraces. Calderon. Big Marini. It's not just the pressure that they're feeling up front, Marconi. Their defenders having to work hard to get it out of the half. Weekly. Gomez and Roth by the combination of three South Melbourne players. Taliadouris to Trimboli. Salakis. Brilliant. Consulate, Catlett, jubilant South Melbourne. They've got Marconi on the rack. Trim Bowley it was, working with Taliadoris. He weaves a bit of magic in the middle. Timed it perfectly. Gomez couldn't cut off the pass and flipping it over the keeper. Peter Salakis, the top goal scorer for the season. And his 10th. Sydney one point and he looked up, saw Catherine come. He had to get in quick, and he did. South Melbourne Hellas three, Marconi nil. One goal in their last three meetings, and South Melbourne have broken out on their fourth meeting. And it's going to test Marconi to the end now. Yeah, to make a game of this at all, it's not looking that way at the moment. It's half time. The South Melbourne fans tell the story. A phenomenal performance from Hellas. played his part in having a 3-0 scoreline against the defending champions Marconi and own goal got him underway after seven minutes and from then on it was really one-way traffic half time at Middle Park it's the blue South Melbourne Hellas 3 Marconi nil as part of our evolving coverage and support of Australian soccer 
ABC Sport will present the big match Monday nights at 10.15 from March the 26th. A comprehensive coverage of the most important match of the round and the goals and highlights from all QNSL matches. And fans of English soccer won't miss out. Your turn comes Thursday night from March the 29th. Australian soccer on the big match Monday nights and English soccer Thursdays. Yes, indeed. Just one week away, the change to Monday night's round 22 in the NSL is a beauty and uh, we look forward to featuring all the games, all the goals from round 22 on Monday the 26th of March. And all you English soccer fans, don't forget Thursday nights as of Thursday week. Well, Cosy, three goals to nil at half-time and uh, this game reminiscent of the one earlier in the season at Marconi Stadium, but this time it's South Melbourne doing all the attacking. And they're taking their chances as well. I mean, nobody would have thought in their wildest dreams that South Melbourne would be up 3-0 against the defending champions at half-time, but they thoroughly deserve it. South Melbourne are playing well. They're playing with far more commitment than they have earlier in the season. They're winning every 50-50 ball and Marconi are, um, are letting them do that. Uh, Marconi in the past few years, I suppose, have been labelled as a very attractive footballing side. But there's times in the game when you've got to pull your sleeves up and get stuck in and just work hard and forget the nice stuff. And they're not doing that today, and uh, South Melbourne are consequently on top because of that. Puskas uh, has gradually been able to build the team up, and he's, got, he's managed to knit together a, a combination that seemed to be peaking at uh, the right time of the season. As Peter G mentioned during the commentary in the first half, it's the first time that Puskas has been able to field the team that he's really wanted to field. Um, you know, Peter, Mickey Peterson's back from injury. Paul Wade's finally got back to full fitness. I mean, I think that was their major problem in early in the season. They lacked their fitness. And uh, their tactic now, or what they tried to do earlier in the season, is to relinquish ground, defend from halfway, and then catch them on the break. And they've caught Marconi on the break three or four times. Well, one of the examples of that uh, was the third goal. We saw some superb uh, build-up from uh, Paul Trimboli. Perhaps we can have a look at that third goal here, and uh, you can talk us through it, John. Well, this is more an example of uh, Marconi not going with the runners. If you have a look here, Paul Trimboli gets the ball, lays it off, moves into space, nobody goes with him. And he collects the ball again, turns well, and he cuts inside, holds the ball up lovely and slips it in behind Gomez for Salakis to put the ball in the back of the net. And that's what I was saying about commitment. Um, you have to defend at times, you've got to go with your runners, especially in that front third of the park. And Marconi just aren't doing that. South Melbourne are getting free on too many occasions. Well, we'll see the replay of that goal coming up in just a moment. The South Melbourne supporters, of course, delirious and a big crowd at Middle Park to see South Melbourne's uh, performance in this game. Now here it is, and uh, you watch how the Marconi defenders just hold back off uh, well, the fellow who Frank Arrock described as the, the new flagship of Australian soccer into the 90s. He's a great young player from Bowl. He's got a very big future ahead of him. If he can stay injury free, he's had a few problems with injuries the, the past couple of years, but he's got such a great footballing game, great touch of skill. The only probably thing I could find one with him is that he lacks a little bit of speed, but he's so sharp off the mark he can make up for that. Great finish here by Salakis as well. Marconi must be absolutely thrilled that Taliadoris, who was sent off and uh, had the NSL tribunal uh, hanging over his head during the week, uh, got off with a suspended sentence because when he, Salakis and Trimboli can combine up front, that seems to make all the difference. Well, Taliadoris is to me a very impressive player. He's almost in the league of Trimboli, although not quite the same type of player. Technically, he hasn't got the touches that Paul has, but um, his aggression and his speed and his positive attitude are fantastic. All right, well, I think it's time, possibly, to cross back for the second half. Marconi trailing by three goals to nil. What can Bertie Mariani pull out of his hat for the second half? Let's go back and join Peter G. Croatia get the second half away. Huge task in front of them. They've made one change during the half-time break. Peter Catholis has come in for Matteo Colucci. There's Ocon. Blair, but uh, it's taken over by Catholis. Gomez getting back onto it. Calderon, but read it well to Durakovic. Trimboli for Wade. Peter Salakis. touch in the second half for Bruce McLaren. Well, talk at half time, almost in a tone of disbelief around the terraces from the Hellas fans. They knew their side was good, but they didn't think they'd see a magnitude 
of the scoreline that confronts them at half time against Marconi. Ocon looking with Catholis. Here's Paul Ocon. Oh, he's hit it straight at McLaren. Well, that was the best chance Marconi have got to score, had to score in the match so far. And Paul Ocon, really one must say, that should have been buried. Would have been just the start that Marconi wanted. And here's the chance for Paul Ocon. Catholis, he's worked well with Ocon in these early stages. Look at that, a side footer straight in the keeper. All vantage points taken up by the faithful here at Middle Park. Taliadoris. Di Marini not to be outdone. Help from right. And the numbers really winning out for the men in blue. And they're not knocked off the ball easily. Trimboli, that's a magical move. Taliadoris is the target, he can go again. He's got Sarakis, who's up there in the middle. He didn't have anyone, Sarakis. It happened so quickly, no one able to get up there, provide a target for Peter Sarakis. Well, the first forward move for South Melbourne in the second half. And again, Marconi was split. Here's Wade. Off Jerry Gomez for the corner. Jerry Gomez and Senad Glavovich comes on. Marconi looking for a little more firepower. They had a lot of play in the opening 10 minutes. Glavovich comes on. Salakis with the corner. Right on the volley. And he hit that pretty well in the end. He did well. Van Egmond who's pushed forward again. They don't want to give the ball up. And they have. So Van Egmond's got to try and motor back. He put the pressure on there. But his man Salakis has kept the ball in play brilliantly. There's Peterson on the left. Shoot for the crowd. And Kaplan has to bat it away. He's got a wicked shot, Peter Salakis. Up forward. Forward. Dallas getting the instructions. Durakovic in the way. Van Egmont now for Marconi. <laughs> Delightful. Off goes Beckett. Durakovic. Trimboli. Peterson. What's on his outside? Not a lot. Wants to bring it back over to the left. Ravovic for Marconi. Catholis with room. Really couldn't get the tackle in. Ravovic works to the byline. Marconi still in a dangerous position. De Jong couldn't strike it because Healy blocked it well. And he's gone through the middle. A nice little chest there from David Healy. about half a dozen of the other I guess they locked arms Marconi a quarter of an hour before full time push again Ocon McCulloch beautifully positioned was McLaren and McCulloch thundered into his chest left in the match and a little bit to think about well left by Fred de Jong and struck clinically by Catholis that's a beauty Durakovic, that was a very nice pass hit it on the half volley to Healy <laughs> he was through David Healy who's in the middle Teleodorus it is Catlin on the near post got across well to cut off the opening good stuff from David Healy 
And now on the break, it's Marconi. The game has livened up again after the goal. Blair for Wade. Well weighted pass. Wade can go back to Blair. Vladovich it is. He was pressured out of that. Well, this is the South Melbourne move. David Healy. Nice stuff down the right. Taliadorus had to jump. Couldn't get inside the near post. continued up the right low against Wade nice tackle to Foster Coglu now Van Egmont nowhere to be seen as Salaka sets up field Catholis is there though now Trimboli in this space Salakas used again onside he is Peterson back for right appeal for handball waved on by the referee and South Melbourne preparing to make a substitution Instructions for Joe Palazzini's. Petrolis. <laughs> worth the one two. There is again. Ball falling for David Lowe. Did well to get to the byline there. No one on the far post. Well, it's been a frustrating afternoon for David Lowe. Finally found some space. No one can take advantage of it. Opposite number 11, Salakis now. Faced by Calderon. Trimboldi looking to get it back to him. It falls for an offside, Teleodorus. Plenty of gesticulating on the terraces. Substitution about to be made by South Melbourne Helen. And it's going to be Mike Peterson who goes off. And a good return to the first team it's been for him after injury. Palacides replacing him in the midfield. Goal scorer last week, Joe Palacides. Peterson just checks the arm, sees that everything is okay. Palacidi's first touch and it was a good one. From Bolle and Calderon again. Measures off the cross for Healy. Taliadoris now. Long run made by Taliadoris. Control it. Game's opened right up in the last minutes. Inside the last five. Trimboli tries to get past Wheatley. Richard Lorenz not pond by some diving that's going on at the moment. Salakis full right. Here's Trimboli again. Just a bit long for him. South Melbourne looking a little bit tired at the moment. They worked so hard in the first half. Oh, they're going to get the reward though, there's no doubt about that. Will they get another goal though? The crowd would like to see it. I don't know what was in Teleodorus' mind, but it's ended up with Trimboli. McCulloch. To Dollis. McCulloch trying to sneak in on the cross, meeting McLaren shoulder to shoulder. Well, John Paul Di Marini has worked very hard down the left in this half for Marconi. Catholis using him. See number seven, Tommy McCulloch charge in on McLaren.
jump from Wade. Palacini is Theodorus. Some of the fans starting to hit for the exits now. We've seen enough. And I don't think they'll forget that first half in a long time. Gives them a share of top spot on the ladder. Marconi not quite done yet. Wheatley. Right, got the ball to Durakovic. Oh, well, half a ball's with one way or the other, and Taliadoris was away. Instead, it thudded into his heels. David Lowe. Just almost working the one two with Blavovic, the two subs. So it's Salakis from Boli. Run from Palacides. The fresh legs are used. Ocon over on the right with him. Now Trimboli. So many of those moves we've seen from him today. He's looking very tired, Trimboli. He hasn't scored, but he's done so much work. Like the There's another hard worker. They're everywhere, nearly on that occasion. Wright also has had a great game. Here he is. Peter Salakis scored a goal right on half time. Wade for Wright. Just Taliadoris up. Now he's in the middle. Here goes Salakis. Catlin has left his line well in this half. Wade against two. Wins the throw. Sheer determination from Paul Wade, who gives 100%, 100% of the time. Salakis for right. 90 minutes has been played as Marconi break for the umpteenth time in the second half. Van Egmont finding low. Just well from Durakovic took over. Look at that, a great run in the uh, last seconds of the match. Crowd appreciate that. Now off goes Salakis. Teleodorus calling for it at his feet. And it comes off the feet of Catlin. He's made some good saves. Four-man South Melbourne wall. Calderon jumped well. South Melbourne Hellas take a share of top spot on the NSL table. Two Melbourne teams, one Sydney team on top of the Quick National Soccer League. You couldn't ask for more as we head towards the final series. And South Melbourne Hellas couldn't ask for a better performance than the one they've seen from their team this afternoon.